All right, so let's talk about having multiple user accounts on the same PC. Now, sometimes you're going to need to do that. Uh, in fact, many times in a corporate environment, you're gonna to need to have multiple users on the same account. Now, uh, at the same time, you maybe need to have some of those users be administrators and others not. Uh, an administrator has certain privileges that other types of users do not. So an administrator is able to basically set limits on what other users can do. So this basically puts them in charge. So where you can find user accounts, this is in control panel. So you basically just search in the search box or Cortana to find the control panel. And then you can come right here to user accounts. Now I do only have one user account on this PC because it's, it's my personal PC. Um, so what I could do though, if you can see right here that I am an administrator and it is password protected. Um, however, if there were other user accounts on here, what I could do is select one of those and then say change the account type. And then I could change that to standard. Uh, a standard account again, has certain limitations that are set by the administrator. So as an administrator, you could do something like say, prevent applications from being downloaded and installed by a standard user. So this is also the same area that you would go in order to delete user accounts. So if you have an employee and they leave the organization, you can come in here and then delete those accounts. Uh, and then as well, you can change passwords for the different, uh, admit, the different users here as well, both standard and administrative, uh, if you are a, an administrative user. So you can find that right here under control panel, user accounts, and then remove user accounts. That's where you'd go to go ahead and delete users from this PC.